once again. Right. Good evening, welcome back to Cooking with Dad and M. I'm Gabriel, and tonight we're back with something really good, so let's get started. I don't know what the heck happened in my last video. I don't see. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see if it works. So we're back. Um, I'm going to try again, see how this works with the video. So we're going to try to make our pizza topping with the cauliflower pizza crust. All right, so we've got our margarita pizza topping here. So we've got our crushed tomatoes, to, our whole tomatoes. Okay, so now, I don't know who's watching, but okay. So we're going with the margarita pizza topping on this. And I apologize if we're skipping a whole bunch of shit right now, but I don't know what the hell happened to my last video. It got deleted. Error. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make our margarita pizza topping, which is relatively simple. Only a few ingredients. As you can see, this is what it's supposed to look like before it goes in the oven, but it's gonna be different because we're using a cauliflower pizza crust and not a regular pizza crust. And there is what it's supposed to look like when it is done. Blah, right there. Okay. Uh, now your pizza dough, again, that's just for your regular pizza dough. Skip that part, we're not using that. Now, as far as your pizza sauce goes, you're gonna use one cup pureed or crushed San Marzano or Italian plum canned tomatoes. Now, what we did as far as our tomatoes, we are using these. We're using what is almost like a grape tomato, but it's just about the size of a grape. It's a salad tomato. It's relatively small. Again, it's about the size of a grape. So we're using about a big container, which is just about a pound, a little over a pound container. And we made our sauce like so. So you got that uh, two to three garlic cloves, a teaspoon of oil, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and a couple pinches of salt. And then as far as your toppings, the rest of the toppings, you're gonna need uh, Parmesan, two to three tablespoons of Parmesan, Parmigiano Reggiano, or you can just go Parmesan. Uh, half a pound of mozzarella cheese cut into half inch cubes. Let me see the cubes here. So this is our, parm this is our mozzarella cut into cubes right here. Now being that we, uh, amped up the amount on the recipe we're using a full block of cheese which is about a pound of cheese and we're going to spread it out on our cauliflower crust as best as we can uh, five to six large basil leaves and uh, red pepper flakes which are optional which might not be a bad idea okay now the first portion of this is just gonna be for prepping your actual pizza dough. We're gonna skip that since we're not doing our pizza dough. Again, preheat your oven and your pizza stone. We're gonna skip that. Assemble the pizza. Mm, again, this first portion on step seven is with the pizza dough and the pizza peel. Skip that. Okay, so what we did with our sauce here is we took our tomatoes Put them in a food processor, got them to a nice little pulpy texture, kind of like this. Mixed our garlic, our salt and pepper in here, and we got what we have is our sauce right now. And that sauce right there is basic, but it is really good. Um, I like the sauce. I, it's really good. It's very easy, Gabriel. What do you think? It's really good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Good. Oopsie. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we've got our sauce ready to go. Um, we have all of our other ingredients. Where did the basil go? Where's the basil? Okay. Go ahead and open it. 
go ahead and open that up. Separate it from the stem. Okay, uh, drizzle the drizzle or brush the dough lightly with olive oil. Uh, using a large spoon, add roughly a half a cup of the tomato sauce onto the pizza dough, leaving about a half or a three quarter inch border. All right, give me one of the rubber spatulas from there, please. Rubber. No, none of the white ones. Oh. That one, there you go. Okay, so you're gonna take your rubber spatula or you can just get a regular spoon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our sauce and then just spread it out. I know it says get half of the sauce, but I'm not doing that. Okay, so we're just gonna very carefully spread it out across the pizza like so. Leave a little bit off of the edge here. Okay. Okay, so we've got our sauce spread out across the dough. Sprinkle a tablespoon of the Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese onto the pizza sauce. So let's get our Parmesan. Start sprinkling just a wee bit onto the sauce. Thank you. Okay, so sprinkle some. Sprinkle some of the Parmesan cheese. Put it on the back end here. A little more. Right in the middle. That should be good. Okay, go ahead and seal it up. Okay, so we've got our sauce, we got our Parmesan. Um, okay, sprinkle a tablespoon of the Parmesan Reggiano onto the sauce. Add half of the cube mozzarella, distributing it evenly over the pizza. Okay, so it says half, let's see. So we're just gonna take our cubed mozzarella and we're gonna spread it out, distribute it however we want across the pizza. Oopsie. Okay, so we've got our cheese spread out. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our basil. Hold that for me, please. All right, so we're gonna take our basil and we're gonna tear it off into strips. Excuse me, just kind of tear at it like this and then spread it out. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Love the smell of fresh basil. Right, Lacey? Lacey agrees. Now, when you're spreading out the basil, you can leave it in your big leaf chunks like this. Like, like this, or you can break it up 
I like to break it up only because you get it spread out and you try to get as much of the basil as you can in every bite. Basil is a very good spice to use. I love the smell of it. Okay. So this is our pizza before it goes in the oven. As you can see, you got the sauce. You got the Parmesan on the bottom there. You got our chunks of mozzarella. And then you got our basil all on top of our cauliflower crust. We got our oven preheated. It says preheated to 550, but we're using a different crust. So we'll just stick it with this. Um... Uh, using your hands, tear a few large basil leaves and sprinkle the basil over the pizza at this point. Stretch the sides of the dough, blah, blah, blah. Gently slide the pizza peel onto the baking stone. Okay, we're not using a pizza peel or a baking stone, so we will stay away from that step. Bake for seven to eight minutes or until the crust is golden and the cheese is bubbling. So we're going to put this in the oven until our cheese starts to, starts to melt. Oh, shut up, Andrew. Andrew's, Andrew's hating on the cauliflower. <laughs> hey, it's good. It may not be your typical pizza crust, but I like it. The kids like it, too. So you can hate on it all you want. Okay, so we got our pizza ready to go. Andrew's favorite. <laughs> I hate cauliflower with a passion, bro. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll go back to using regular pizza crust soon. Okay, so obviously cauliflower isn't going to fly with Andrew, so you need an MRI. I need an... Andrew says I need to get my head checked. I need to get my brain checked. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're going to set that. Uh, let's go eight minutes. So we're going to let it sit for eight minutes. We're going to check it at, at about the eight minute mark and see how it looks um, with the cheese and all the stuff on there. See how the cheese looks when it's melted on top of the sauce. Um, this pizza, this type of pizza typically says you have to cook it for a little bit longer, but... It says use the pizza peel and the pizza stone. We don't have that. Uh, what What next? You're going to wear a homemade knitted sweater and a hug trees. No. I'm not I'm not going I'm not going tree hugger. I'm not going full on vegetarian vegan. This is just this is an experimental type and this is something that we like. Something different. Does it mean I want to go full on peace love peace trees and all that stuff no no i'm not going vegan although i do need to lose weight not happening i'm not going vegan meat is good meat is meat is my friend especially bacon gabriel you like bacon mm -hmm. we like we like bacon bacon is good meat is too good to pass up we are not giving up meat in this house Hey, I mean, you may not like it, Andrew, but it's good. So, um, yeah, we're, we're doing the cauliflower crust again only because we like it so much and I wanted to make a bigger crust. Now, the crust that I made wasn't really all that big last time, so we wanted to increase the, uh, the amount of uh, cauliflower we're using on, that last, on this try, so... We got a lot, we got a lot to go around on this go around. Um, I have, I have more, more um, carnivorous recipes coming on later on in the week. So yes, we do have meat. Yeah, meat is definitely your friend. Mm, whatever, bro. <laughs> You're an ass. You're an ass, Drew. You're an ass, but I still like you. You're good. Oh yeah, so we have we have more meat friendly recipes coming up in the rest of the week. We have stuff with sausage. We have chicken. Um, have two things with chicken coming up. Who's that behind you? My son. Where? I'm over here. Hey, who's that behind you? <laughs> 
He's being silly. Yeah, I love you too, Andrew. Um, so yeah, uh, I do like to stray away from the, the meat recipes once in a while, just for the hell of it. I mean, once in a great while. I like, um, I like doing the cauliflower crust with, uh, this type of stuff. And I think the last time I made it before this was the crust, the pe the cauliflower crust had meat on it. Oh, yeah, it's the books. The books have faces on them. That's what you're seeing. Oh, I don't know. It wasn't my son. It's a ghost. Gabriel, there's a ghost in the house. We're haunted. Uh-oh. Andrew says that he's seeing somebody else's face, but it's not you. My dog? Oh, well. <laughs> All right, so we got five minutes left, a little less than five minutes. I'm gonna take a quick peek on the pizza and see what the cheese looks like. He said he doesn't like cauliflower too. My son, he loves it. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got about four minutes left. I'm gonna let this cook a little longer. The cheese is starting to melt. We're not ready yet. Almost. I'm gonna give it another few minutes and we're gonna let the cheese melt a little bit and then we'll see how it looks. Maybe let it cook another couple minutes, but. All right, Andrew, are you ready for Christmas? I don't know. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. My tree doesn't have a damn thing under it right now though. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Okay, so again, we're coming down to the end of 2019. Already 2020. I cannot believe we're at 2020 in just eight days. Eight, nine days. Ugh. 2020. I can't believe that shit. Gabriel, can you believe it? 2020? No. Where the hell is time going? I can't believe we're already in 2020. That's ridiculous. Lacey! Why? Okay. So hopefully your weekend was good. Um, hopefully everybody is ready for Christmas, as ready as they'll ever be. Um, ready for New Year's, ready for the new year to come and everything else that comes along with it. Um, it is what it is. All right, so let me show you guys what we got going on with the pizza. Again, we are making a margarita pizza topping with this one, which is just basically cheese, sauce, and basil leaves. No nothing too complicated and this is what it looks like before with an actual crust pizza dough and this is what it looks like after ours is gonna look somewhat similar to that <clears throat> again you're only gonna need a few ingredients you're gonna need tomato sauce I like to use the can um, the salad tomatoes, the grape tomatoes, whatever the hell they're called. Uh, garlic, oil, a little salt and pepper for the sauce. And then as far as your actual topping is you're gonna need a little bit of Parmesan, uh, a block of mozzarella cut into half inch cubes, and then some basil leaves. Uh, the red pepper flakes are optional if you want a little kick to it. It doesn't hurt. A little extra. A little extra kick on the pizza does not hurt, especially with some red pepper flakes. I think we, I might sprinkle a little bit of red pepper flakes on mine. We'll see. Okay, we're coming up on about a minute, give or take. Uh, should be done here pretty soon. Let's see what it looks like when the timer goes off. 
And then I will decide if I want to put it in for a few minutes more. Okay, why the hell is it so dim? Okay, I need to get rid of this damn track lighting. I hate, I hate the track lighting. All right, so I'm gonna take a peek. Ooh, wee, that look good. I already see it, that look good. Oh, that even smells good. What do you think, Gabriel? That looks good. Done? Mm -hmm. All right, hold that for me, please. Okay, there she is. Our pizza is done. We are on a cauliflower crust. Here is our margarita pizza topping. That is pretty much it. I will attach a link for both the cauliflower crust and the margarita topping. Um, I will post a picture of it all here in a couple minutes. Uh, tomorrow is Tuesday, so we should we should have a video tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to get a video in tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna make just yet, but we'll try to get a video in. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve already, what the crap? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're done here. I'm gonna attach pictures. I'm gonna attach a link to the recipe in a bit, but we will talk to you soon. You guys have a good night, have a good Christmas. And I'll see you sometime soon before the weekend. Bye. Peace. Bye, Felicia.